Hey guys, welcome. In this tutorial, I will teach you my favorite movement system for VR. In this system, we don't move the player, instead we spin the world. So, when you hit the end of your player area, you turn around, you hit a button and then we spin the world to fit the player area. And then you can move freely again. And you can repeat this as much as you want and this way you can expand the dig digital play space by so much. This demo in is 10 by 10 meters, my room is only 2 by 2 meters and I can travel from point A to point B like this. Okay, so first of all I have done this with the Oculus integration. The Oculus integration is cross-platform and you can be on any headset, pretty much any headset that has touch controllers. So the Vive, any Oculus, Rift, Rift S, the Valve Index and probably a bunch more in the future. Download and import this unless this is the last update there is. If you're watching this in the future, they probably fixed all the bugs. But since this version is total shit, you have to go to Google. Google Oculus Integration Archive. And download this one 1 1.42 all right then you close your project you go find your project in the Explorer so let's say it was this one you go to the assets folder and you delete the oculus folder completely then you go back into your project open up unity again you do import package, custom package, and you go find the downloaded Oculus integration and just uh, open and import it and then you be good. So, bringing the OVR player controller, create some kind of motion sickness fence, make it a child of the OVR player controller, and then Make sure everything in your scene, every prop and everything that you want to spin is a child of the plane. So that it will spin with the plane. And at the plane, you'll add a script that you call, call spin world. Well, you can call it whatever you like, but I'm calling it spin world. Double click the script to open it. And this is really all the code needed for the for this functionality so i will not go into detail how this works but i will leave a fully commented version on patreon and also i will zip up the whole project and put it on patreon so if you like you can just download it and jump straight into it make your own modifications and that's all you need guys so Keep an eye out for the rest of my movement tutorials. I will make a few from here on. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. And uh, like and subscribe and support me on Patreon. Take it easy. It's pineapple out.